Let's add a custom structure to Minecraft. All right, we find ourselves back in Minecraft again. Yes, indeed, because we're going to make a custom structure. And I've already prepared this and I've already built it. Now, I will admit it's not the most glorious structure, but it will do for our purposes. Inside of here, we actually have a lamp that is turned on in this case. And that is pretty much the structure. Now we're going to save this as NBT data, and then we're going to spawn it in a new world. Now this is actually going to be more straightforward than you think. If you haven't seen the previous tutorial, I highly recommend, basically it's a requirement for this, otherwise you're not going to get through this because we will be copying over the JSON files that we've created in the last tutorial. So it's going to be linked at the top right corner right now. So go there, watch that, work through that first, and then we can proceed. All right, so once you have built your structure, what you want to do is you want to give yourself the structure block once again, this one right here. And you can see this is how it looks like. And we now want to place it on the corners outside of the structure. So we want to place it right here. You can see so that the corner here touches that corner there. And then we want to do the same thing basically right here as well. And then we can do the same thing right here as well. There you go. And then last but not least, we're going to do it here as well. And now we have four corners right here, right? So you can clearly see that this would basically encompass the entire thing. And what you want to do is you want to switch to corner mode right here. So click on the actual button once, and then you want to put in a name. So this is going to be tutorial mod. So always put in your mod ID colon, and this is going to be the Kalpen underscore house. There you go. Now I will select it with control A and control C to copy the name. And then I'll hit done. I'll go to the next one, go to corner mode, control V to paste it in, done. And then we're going to do the same here. Corner mode, paste it in, done. And in the last one, we actually want to go to save mode, paste it in, and then we want to go to detect. So if we click detect, you can then see an outline of your structure. Well, basically outlined. Now in our case, this is perfectly outlined. So this is actually exactly how we would want it to. And then go back to your save mode one and hit save. This will now basically save this custom structure as an NBT file, and we can now proceed and use this NBT file for our purposes and spawn it in the world. So let's switch to IntelliJ and see how we can do that. Right, so there we are in IntelliJ. So let's go all the way up, right, to the run folder to our saves right here. And then this should be testing structures again, generated folder, and there we have it, the NB Kaltenhouse NBT file. Let's just get this down to our other folder right here. So this is in the data folder, tutorial mod structures, count underscore house. There you go. And now we can actually, well, start to copying over some of the files. Now, like I've said, this is of course all available in the description below, GitHub repository and individual gist as well. But the reason we've basically had such an extensive tutorial last time with, you know, going through the entire tutorial repository from telepathic grunt is because now we can literally just copy over some of those files and then just change a little, a few things in there. And then we are good to go. So we're going to choose the JSON only house biomes JSON here, and we're going to call this the Kaupen underscore house JSON. Now I will actually keep it like this because I'm actually fine with it spawning in those different uh, biomes. This one was of course the one where we define in which a biome this spawns. Then we need the configured structure feature. So we're going to copy this one over again and call it Kaupen underscore house. Now, what we, do we need to change here? Well, first of all, this one right here, because this is a start pool that it points to, this should be in the Kaupen underscore house folder. We're still going to call it start pool though. And then the biomes right here is of course referring to this JSON file right here. So we're just going to change it to Kaupen underscore house again. There you go. The rest here, we're just going to, you know, keep it like it is. Let's say, for example, maybe I don't actually want any monsters to spawn. Maybe I only want a parrot to spawn here. That's going to be fine as well. But that is pretty much all that we need here. Then in the structure set, once again, copying over the JSON only house, Kalpen underscore house. By the way, I do this by dragging it into the same folder and then holding control, if you didn't know that. And here we once again just want to change it to the structure. So this is Kalpen underscore house. And then incredibly important, change this salt right here. So it, do it doesn't matter how, you know, how you change the salt, but, you know, I just maybe do something like this, right? So I'm just making sure that I'm not going over. I'm actually thinking that this it might be over. So let's do a one in the front. How much is this? This is two million. Yeah, I think that that would be over. I'm not 100% sure, though. Let's do something like this. This should be enough. So this one, of course, has to be different than the other two, and that's going to be fine. So we're going to be totally okay. Let's go into the count house again. There we go. Uh, the spacing and the separation, we're going to change a little bit as well. Let's just do something like a uh, 20 here and the minimum distance is maybe six. So that's going to be fine as well. 
making sure that the salt is different. That's the most important thing here. And that it's not too big. That's also very important. And then last but not least, we're going to do the following. We're going to make a new directory here called cowpen underscore house. And then just copy over the start pool. Once again, drag it into that folder and holding control in this case, we're going to change this one as well. This one has got cowpen underscore house. And then this one, the location here, of course, once again, points to the NVT file. So we're just going to change this to cowpen underscore house. And that is it. Now we're done. This is why I said working through the tutorial ones that we've done before, and then just copying over the JSON files here is incredibly easy to do. And that is it. That Now our custom structure will spawn in new worlds. That's, that's literally it. The structure we've just saved in NVT file is now already, well, able to be placed as a new structure in the world. So let's start the game and go into a new world. All right, we found ourselves in Minecraft. And I mean, okay, that was that was very fast, but there we go. There is our Kaupen house and already done. See the actual lamp that is on and here it is. Now we should actually be able to find a second one fairly quickly because the separation is actually not that bad. It's like 20, um, 20 chunks on average and it was, I believe, six on minimum. So, you know, I would expect it to be fairly prevalent as well. Like I said, like the numbers always play around with those. And see, I believe that it can actually spawn in this one. No, it should be able to spawn here as well. So let's just see. We can't find another one just for the sake of argument. There's a lot of houses and there is another one. Let's go. So you can clearly see they are spawning quite you know, often and they are spawning and that's actually how easy it is to add a custom, you know, single piece structure to Minecraft. All right, and that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. Next time we'll look at jigsaw structures. So that's going to be really awesome as well. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. Many thanks also to my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting the channel and I will see you all in the next video. So yeah.